it's Devs151 and welcome back to my channel. Uh, a little explanation why I haven't put a video up in like a week or so. I've started a new job so once I've worked around that, I'll figure out when I can put videos up. So do you expect a little less in the coming week, maybe one video a week. But we're back today with this very unusual car. This is the Nissan Delta Wing. Now for those who don't know and do not recognise this car, this is an actual car. This is took part in the Le Mans... Uh, 24 hours, uh, it's been in the WE, has it been in the WEC? I know it's in the Americans, uh, uh, Le Mans series. I don't know whether it took part in one or two races. I think it, didn't it win recently? I'm not sure. I'm not kept up to date with this particular car. But I know it's a real car and it's unbelievable. Nissan decided to take a, a step in a wild direction. It does look like a some sort of stealth bomber. Now it is really weird car to drive because as we go to the the interior view, there you go. Now that is your width. Now in that view, I always expect to see two wheels left and right a bit. If it looks like an open wheel uh, cockpit for like a Formula One car or uh, whatever Formula uh, you desire, but you you tend to see two wheels there and they're not there. And the weird thing is behind me, the car is quite wide. So, what I'm going to do is do a couple of laps of Spa Franca shops just to show you what it's like. It is quite a cool mod, so here we go. And the weird thing is, it's only got five gears now. It feels strange in a car such as this, it only got five gears now. What I've been catching me out is the whip. Because look how I'm taking it, you can hear the rear tyres on the rumble strips as we exit the corner. Over the Grand Prix start finish line. Just head into the tight right hander, just really tad wide. The arm switching round, so not crossing over as we head downhill to the famous Eau Rouge. Now, look, this is I just don't know the width of the car, so I'm trying not to get too close. I lift off a tad because it is a bit twitchy from time to time. This thing, as you can see, just really tad wide. A bit of corrective steer and look now. I don't know if you can hear the clicking of me trying to upshift, but it's only got five gears, but it doesn't hit the rev limit, so it just feel a bit weird only having five gears and you may see me downshift a bit too much in a couple of corners thinking I'm just not used to it and the car is it's good fun to drive. Got a little battle on my hand with the car. It doesn't oh it doesn't really understeer, it's, it's strange, it feels balanced and it doesn't feel balanced, it, I don't, it, it's strange, it is a strange one to drive, I imagine it was strange at the time for the actual drivers, braking, there we go, so I'm sure I could go a lot faster than this but, oh, oh god, I see the bounce right up, very peculiar not seeing two front wheels in front I'm normally just clipping the curves with the left and right front but to not to have them there it just feels you like you're running wide on each corner but you won't be the rear end should be quite close to the uh, side of the track it's, I think it's a strange way of getting away with the rule of uh, two wheels over the track because oh over the white line like that as it understeers big time under braking I don't know what Nissan were aiming for is this just a more aerodynamic design or is there something more behind it the mechanical uh, grip rather than the uh, aero I've got that the right way around, mechanical grip and aero grip, now is a thing. But I can't remember. But hell, it is way loud. I'll do one more lap. Just head down to our roots, try and push a bit. It does sound awesome. The mod itself is great. I advise you to go download it. I'll put the link in the description below. The car bounces about. The poor roots do lift a tad as it gets a very wobbly going up there. So you can see, I want to get all the way over to the left, but I don't know how close my rear left is. So under braking, only down. 
a couple of gears. I don't know what I don't, I'm not sure of what engine it is. I may have should have had a little read up on it before I did this video, which would have been common sense, but it is a strange car. And to be honest, I don't think it has caught on. Plus, you've got your Audis and Porsches. The WEC season started again, and um, no one's like gone. Wow, well, that's a great idea, and like latched onto it. Like we've seen like Formula One, and uh, where one team has a great diffuser, and then someone, and then they all seem to copy. It doesn't seem to have catched on like that. It just feels so weird. But again, it's his great mod. Can't take anything away from the mod maker. He's done a fantastic job. Sorry, I am. I can't remember your name. I wrote it down somewhere and I can't find it. So we head up for gear 140, 150. We've got to be 160 mile per hour. It does look like a stealth bomber, this thing. It does look cool. I'll give it that. It does look cool. Oh, just a bit too much on the kerb. Headed into the bus stop to keep breaking hard. Oh, the back end might just step out there. Power on. Just really wheel spin. It just seems a very calm, collective car. Whether it's just because it, it's a bit slower, I'm not sure. Oh, have we outbreak itself? Run a bit wide. And here we come to cross the line down the hill, charging away. Come on, there we go. So, I've been Demis151. If you've enjoyed this little video, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. I would love to know what you think about this car. Download the car yourself and tell me what you think about it. It is a strange, strange vehicle. Just look at it. It does look, it does look cool. I'll give you that. It does look interesting weird weird and cool at the same time very strange thing but if you like this video please remember to like subscribe and comment in the comment section below as i've just said weirdly enough repeating myself like a parrot uh like i said before because of new work commitments uh there may be a bit less videos i am trying to keep up with uh doing some pre-record so i've got something to put up uh but tell you what I will see you in the next video with another great mod, hopefully, on a set of Corsa, or maybe some different stuff. I don't know. So I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.